Auto play mode. What do we mean under the term? Quite a lot, frankly. The idea behind the auto play mode is that you create and store effects on an SD card and then play them independently on our software or web configuration tool. The effects can be triggered by different means or different options. You can use hardware buttons that are on the device itself or by different settings made in a web configuration tool. Before that, you have to remember that the autoplay mode has the lowest priority of all the modes available. As you can see on the device right now, this little red diode here indicates that the device is connected via an Ethernet cable to our Let's Trip Studio software. Also, you can find that in a web configuration tool where this little icon indicates that the device is in a Ethernet mode. So, you have to cancel our software, the little red diode will go off and you are ready to enter a web configuration tool and start to play with different settings there for autoplay mode. Also, you have to be familiar with how to create and export different effects and file types to an SD card. Follow this link to a page where you will find a lot of tutorials on how to do that correctly and properly. First option how you can play effects from the SD card in autoplay mode is to create a playlist. For that enter a web configuration tool. There in a top bar head to autoplay settings where you can find different options and different settings. If you will scroll down a bit you will find a playlist tab. Now here you can assign 16 different animations and the playlist will start with playlist ID number 1. If you want to start the playlist, you have to tick on Use Playlist On. Also, if you want to repeat the playlist after it finishes, tick on Repeat. For different uh, animations in a playlist, you can set up uh, how many times it should repeat and also if the last effect in the playlist should loop indefinitely. This is a handy feature, for example, if you want to create a show for a client where the last animation should be a logo, you will assign uh, several effects into a playlist and the last one will loop indefinitely until you stop the playlist. To give you a quick example how to create a playlist, we exported and stored some effects onto our SD card. We got five of them ready to be assigned into a playlist. All you have to do now is to insert your card with effects into your device. And then head into web configuration tool. There again find autoplay settings, scroll down a bit and you will locate a playlist table. First thing you have to do is to tick use playlist on. Then you can start to assign effects into your playlist. Animation number one will be a starting animation and it will repeat once. You can see that already here. Animation number two will play two times. Animation number three will play only once. And last one will be animation number four. And this one will loop indefinitely. So tick loop indefinitely on. That's it. Hit save playlist. Now after I will turn the device off and on again. Voila! This is my playlist. As you can see last animation is looping until you turn your device off or until you stop the playlist. It's also good to mention that uh, we are using our strip in a roll because uh, we do know how to set up everything quickly. However, if you will try this at uh, home, unroll your strip so that uh, it won't damage from overheating. Besides an option to set uh, default DMX or IP address of the device, you can also use dip switch to switch between the animation and to set a default animation. For that, you have to be familiar with uh, how to set a value on a dip switch. If you are not sure, Google it. It's very easy. I'll show you how to set a default animation to number two. You just have to move down the pin. And this is now my default animation. 
after I will turn off the device and turn it on, a default scene plays. Another option how to set up which animation should start to play immediately after you turn on your device is to set up a default scene. In a previous example, we did this over dip switch, so that was a hardware option. Of course, you got a software option also. For that, head again into our web configuration tool. There, locate autoplay settings and an autoplay section. Here you can see currently playing animation, which you got stored on SD card, and you can scroll through the effects. So you can determine which animation you would like to set up as your default scene. I do like this one, I can see it's a animation number 4, so you'll, you will put in the value in a default file window. Also you can tweak a bit with uh, the settings of your animation, you can uh, change the speed of the animation and you can also set up if you would like the animation to repeat after it finishes. So you can tick repeat off, the animation will play only once hit save autoplay settings and now after I will turn off and then on the device animation number 4 played only once. Within the autoplay mode falls also an option to switch between the animations stored on SD card with the two hardware buttons that are on the front panel of the device. You simply push top or down button and you scroll through the effects that you have on your card. A nice feature how you can play an animation stored on SD card is to trigger it by simple web link. This is a template that you can use to create your own with an IP address of your device at the beginning and the value or number of the animation at the end. In autoplay settings section in web configuration tool you can set if the animation should play only once or if it should loop. Then all you have to do is open a new tab in your web browser copy paste the link with the IP address of the device and the number of the animation, hit enter and the animation should start to play immediately.